Hey everyone! As yesterday was September 25th, 2023, and was Halo 3's sweet 16th birthday, I wanted to dive into a little classic series from the Halo universe, Arby and Chief. It's Master Chief! Hello, hello. Hey guys, what are going on in this level? We need your help, Chief. It was created by a YouTuber named John Graham, and today we're going to go over the pilot episode, which aired originally on January 7th, 2008. But first, let's dive into a bit of history about John, and uh, what inspired him to create these videos. John was born in Glasgow, Scotland in 1988, but then he moved over to Vancouver, Canada at a young age. Now his passion for filmmaking was sparked by a video that his dad had made with toys. John, thanks for being on story mode. No problem. So uh, tell us how this show came to be. Like, where did the idea for our being the chief come from? Um, well, I guess one of the original sources of inspiration was um, my dad, a long time ago when I was really young, had made this video with toys uh, starring the main guy from Dragonheart, uh, uh, Michael Jordan from Space Jam, and uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park. And uh, they were all situated on situated on the planet Mars. And uh, from that, I kind of learned that it was possible to get a decent amount of entertainment value with like little to no resources. Now, John had been creating machinima videos on YouTube since 2007 with uh, moderate success. But his real breakthrough came through when he made Master Chief Sucks at Halo, which was the first series. Then it was followed by Master Chief Sucks at Halo 2. After Master Chief Sucks at Halo 2's release, Machinima Inc. approached John with a contract, which only furthered John's career and interest in making more videos. In the first pilot episode, we can all relate to Master Chief dreaming of being a top-tier Halo 3 player, as we inevitably see him get offered by a Bungie employee a million dollars. We're saying we're to go, Chief! All thanks to you, you're the greatest chief. Hey look, it's one of the guys from the Bungie staff. Hey Master Chief, we just wanted to personally congratulate you on your performance in Halo 3. Why thank you good sir. We here at Bungie would like to present to you the grand prize for achieving such a feat. One billion dollars and infinite girlfriends. Then abruptly we see him get awakened by a delivery guy. Hello. Uh, yeah, hey, I got a package here for delivery for, uh, someone named John. Oh, really? Yeah. Is this John? Yeah, come up, please. Alright, thanks. He signs for a package uh, with playful hope thanks. that it might be the coveted recon armor. Why is this? How is this recon armor? I have no idea what it is, man. I just need you to sign on this document here. After which, this? we see Chief take out the Halo 2 armor figure, placing it to the side, then goes back to playing Halo 3 enduring insults from the Xbox 360 chat. Hey! Stop being AFK! We need help! I are sorry. Dude, you fucking suck, man! Maybe you smoke Oh, which I remember so much. Anyway, what I find really funny is the way that the captions are put on there through Microsoft Sam, which is the voice that's being used. He usually uses lead speak, which was uh, a mix between letters and numbers popular back in 2007, usually used in gaming. People is like gaming speak or lead speak. So like uh, it was really funny back then. It was a different time. After this next scene, we can see Chief looking over to the side, which the Arbiter figure is missing and open. Then we see Chief preparing for a fight as he does not know what to do next. Next we see a comical showdown between Chief and the Arbiter as he gets hit with a pan. He introduces himself, so this is the first time we uh, see the Arbiter. The Arbiter speaks in Microsoft Mike and introducing himself for the very first time to him and us, the audience. My name is the Arbiter, motherfucker. Now let's cut back to Arby and Chief on the couch playing Halo 3. As the Arbiter begins discussing the heroic map pack, priced at $10, which I honestly think compared to today's microtransactions is reasonably priced, to be honest. Which Chief tells Arby that he used his human roommate John's credit card to make the purchase. 
I wiped my ass with ten dollars. That's not what I asked. I asked if you thought that the maps were worth it. The Arbiter then tries to attempt a civil discussion on whether the maps were worth the money. Uh, Chief retorts, then showcases the contrast in their personalities, setting a tone for their dynamic throughout the series. The heroic map pack is worth it. The map pack should have been a freebie, in my opinion. That was quite a mouthful. I guess you are used to that kind of thing. Nice one. I see what you did there. Instead of addressing my points, you took everything that I said and turned it into a sexual joke, implying that I suck on men's penises. LOL indeed. Whatever, you're just too poor to afford the new maps. It's not a competition about who has the most money, you fucking idiot. It's about a personal sense of worth. But I guess that's a concept that's too complex for your hopeless, juvenile, idiotic. And showing us just how different the Arbiter is compared to Chief when it comes to, to knowledge and discussion, so he's more like chill-toned compared to, to Chief's, uh, I really don't know how to explain his demeanor. And before we wrap up, I've got a fun challenge for you guys in the comments below. Let's all challenge our inner gamers and speak in leet. Drop your best leet comments down below. With a concise 10 minute runtime, these videos were a blast to watch back then, and this is just the beginning, so stay tuned for the next episode as I go over episode 2. And uh, make sure you head over to John's channel and watch more of these beautiful videos. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay random. Bye bye. You are fucking pathetic. Shut your hole. Of course, you go for the rockets first because you can't get a kill any other way. Rockets takes kill move. Oh please. Shut the fuck up. Wow, good job. Fall back, fall back, thanks.